Well, young Rwandan bloggers and filmmakers are working to reshape the narrative about their country. They want to move away from stories of the 1994 genocide and its aftermath. They want to talk about their generation and what is now one of Africa's fastest growing economies. Chika Odua reports from Kigali. Gloria Iribagiza is at it again, banging out another post for her blog. When you go and Google search, if you're out of the country, you'll see just genocide. But yet there's so much development happening here. The youth are part of uh, a whole generation of vibrant people who are telling stories in different ways. Most of my, my, my stories that I write are more about social change and different ways in which that can impact the lives of people. The 1994 genocide killed an estimated 800,000 people and left scars on Rwanda that last to this day. But Gloria and a group of local writers and filmmakers want to tell a different story. For Gloria, that means focusing on development issues and women and girls achieving their goals. Gloria says she feels free to go out, report, and write stories. But rights groups do continue to express concern about restrictions to free speech and political dissent in Rwanda. Other local content creators VOA spoke to declined to be interviewed on the topic. Gloria is out to meet with some colleagues at a trendy cafe. Maggie Mutesi is a journalist. Victor Kagimba is a spoken word artist. Raymond Kalionga is a 3D animator and he creates content like this. Right now, we try to get children who are writing stories and getting their stories out there in, in a moving picture. The content is produced locally. Independent films that explore complex issues like identity and gender are also gaining attention. 25-year-old Philbert Mbabazi studied filmmaking in Europe and has returned to Rwanda to pursue his dreams. The, the narrative that we ha I want to change is just uh, is, is to show, to, to show, to tell our own stories, like to show our own complexities. Because I think like most of the most of the stuff we see, especially in cinema or video, there's no there's no complexity in terms of where you want to show, when you're showing people. And I think the, as an African, as a Rwandese, the my biggest my biggest struggle is to just be able to communicate the world that I'm just another human being. Because there's no Randi's narrative or African narrative, it's just a personal narrative from every, from every individual. These are the type of stories to expect from this group. Not what was, but what is and what will be. Chika Odua for VOA News, Kigali, Rwanda.